Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Some people on Facebook asked me to continue with some of the gameplay for No Fun Red or Azkaban. So welcome to Trouncing Tron. Here we are, game one. Let's check her out. I uh, will not need the, the graveyard versus Tron. So my opening hand's pretty good. I don't play first, so I get to Gemstone Caverns, which is nice. I got double Abrade, which makes the choice easy. So I ship the Abrade. Now I see I'm playing Tron, and I have a little happy, happy joy, joy that I kept the Blood Moon. So he throws down his Chromatic Filter. I uh, toss down the Chalice, because Chalice on one is still really great against uh, stopping his Land Enablers. And I know I can slam, hopefully, this Blood Moon next turn. Very least. Oh, he just quits. Well, that's not super exciting. On to game two. I guess because he was low and he had no way of getting land. Maybe he saw he tried to cast the Ancient Stirrings and got pissed off and quit. So, they, um, they did that. Game two. Opening hand. Uh, ugh, ugh, it's okay. I think I keep it. I know what they're playing, so... I know that this isn't terrible. So power plant into map. I can uh, turn... Turn one. A couple things, but I just abrade the enabler. In comes the... Chromatic Star, so you can do some land filtering, and I'm kind of st stuck um, here for a little bit, but I do get the Blood Moon out, so that's good. Walking Barista, drop a land, more filter. They swing in for the one. Now I'm at three land, and so I can start to deploy some aggression. Hey, Mr. Warboss. Chip away, we're even. I love, I love Urza's Mountains. Okay, so here we are in uh, in the standard sort of aggressive gambit with Tron. He's got, they've got um, Oblivion Stone out. I know I can get in for a few points of damage, so I swing for the fences. Mentoring up. I know they're going to blow up. They're going to blow up that O stone as soon as they can, but they miss the land drop the first turn. So I hold off here on casting Chandra, although I could cast Chandra this turn. I know they're going to blow the board anyway, so I swing in, get in for some more damage. Taking them down to 11. The Ancient Stirrings. Giving them enough for the O-Stone. They're going to hold off on the O-Stone. Wait till I attack. Don't cast anything before they blow the O-Stone. So they blow their big O. And that allows me to slam Chandra. Shocking! To the face. Expedition map. Huh. Uh, what happened here? Do, 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 do. Sorry, the replays are not great. Um, hmm. What happens if I hit here? Will it go to the end? Oh, so the game just ends because I quit. That's what happened. Um, he's got full on Tron. He's got... Uh, I'm working on that. They've got full on Tron. Um, and I don't have a lot. So I think I move on to the next game, which takes us to game 
three. Opening hand is good. Chalice on one. Hers is mine. Ooh, mind. And then I sneak out a Karn. I use my Karn's ability. And this is a highly effective play against Tron. Getting a liquid metal coating out early. Because there's nothing they're going to be able to do on turn two. They're going to be able to drop an enabler or drop a second land. And then I start chipping away at their big mana land base. And so they quit. Okay, moving on to the next game. Against the same person. Uh, I try my best to avoid farming a particular player. But sometimes in Magic Online you just can't help it. So we played a, another game in a row. We both kind of know now what each of us is on. My opening hand, because I know who I'm playing, I ship it away uh, and I keep keep this much more aggressive hand. Early aggression against Tron is pretty good. They can't really respond for a couple turns, so if you can uh, you if you can get some few points of damage in early, it can be the difference between winning and losing. So I can ritual get out a mob. A mob boss, war, war leader, in for a point of damage. And there's the Blood Moon. Believe in the heart of the cards, and the heart of the cards will help you, because I have all of the cards perfectly need in order to slam this Blood Moon. They fetch and are like, no, I'm out. Blood Moon's so good. But remember, especially with Tron, Blood Moon without aggression is not as good. So you need something to follow it up with. Uh, that's a whole pile of nothing, so I powder it away. This is good. Keep this, because in Gemstone Cavern. So I Gemstone Cavern. Throw down only one Gemstone Cavern. You can't have two because of the legendary rule. So I'll oftentimes exile one Gemstone Cavern to the other leaving me with a decent amount of mana and i got double ritual again which lets me slam karn again is really just a repeat of the other game knows what's coming quits so tron is not uh not uh, unbeatable so play to your outs i hope you enjoyed and i will talk to you again real soon